In this lecture, I want to use the last example from the lecture about the dummy decision table in order to demonstrate the table operation expression type. I have created a decision table just like the one I presented in the last part of the previous lecture. The resume check is based on three incoming data elements. I used a constant expression for the dummy condition column, but as was already mentioned, any data element or expression is fine. For the result, I created a structure made of two data elements. One is boolean and one is textual. I then used this structure to create a table data object. The reason I created the structure is to enable the creation of the table data object. And the reason I created the table data object is to enable the return all matches mode in the decision table expression. The first check is conducted by a formula expression. This formula is a logical expression. If the number of pages in the resume is at least one but no greater than two, a positive result is returned. Otherwise, a negative result is returned. The remaining two checks are just a reflection of the incoming data elements. This is somewhat unusual, but for this example, it is sufficient. We can think of the data that is coming through these data elements as the output of some sophisticated text mining algorithm. Let's try this table. I will put one in the pages number field and see what happens. The result looks good. The result is a table which represents a checklist in this case. You can see that the resume passed the first one but failed the other two. Let's try another one. This time, I will assume the candidate has mentioned some volunteering activity. Nice! The decision table seems to work fine. Now, what if the customer would want you to return this table in a sorted way? Say, that all failed checks will be grouped together. Also, suppose he wants to show first the past ones. How can we do that? Well, the answer is by a table operation expression, of course. The table operation expression type allows us to manipulate data tables or operate on them in some way. For example, it allows us to sort them and also count, summarize, and average a column and many more. In order to get a sorted result, I will create a table operation expression as the top expression. I first need to specify the desired operation I want to conduct on the table. Take a look at the options. In this case, I'm interested in the sort operation. Now I need to specify the table I want to sort. 
As we already know, the desired table is actually the result of the decision table expression, so I will look for it. Actually, it's here in the menu, but I will look for it anyway, just for the demonstration. The next thing I need to enter is the specific way I want to sort this table. I can mention a single column or more, and for each one I can mention if I want the sorting to be done in ascending or descending order. In our case, we assume the customer wanted to sort the table according to the checks results, such that the passing checks would appear first. It means that I need to sort the table by the boolean column sorted in descending order. I can add another column to sort by. Now the table will be sorted first by the boolean result and then by the name of the check, alphabetically. This is it, the table operation is relatively easy to handle. I hope that by now you got the idea of expression construction and how to combine them with each other. As expressions are logical building blocks, each one of them is responsible to a relatively small part of the bigger whole. This, in general, makes every expression quite easy to handle. I hope you agree with me. As usual, I will test the function. I will enter the same parameters as I did in the last time. Good, the result is a sorted table, exactly as I wanted. Shall we move on?